Hello hockey fans and welcome to Inside the WCHA. I'm Ryan Phelps. It's Thanksgiving week. Time to get together with our loved ones and stuff our faces. And of course, watch a little college hockey. We can all gather on social media. We're on Instagram and Twitter at WCHA underscore M hockey. And on Facebook as well. But don't forget WCHA.TV where you've got the best seat in the house. We'll start off with a little double dip of Johnny Horton as we go north to Alaska. We'll start in Anchorage, the Seawolves hosting Michigan Tech. They skated to a 1-1 tie on Friday night, Anchorage getting the extra conference point in a shootout. On Saturday, they're well on their way. Tanner Johnson fires one on. Jeremiah Lutke with the rebound, a gift from the goalie. 3-1 Seawolves after two, but just hold it right there. Huskies on the power play. Nice puck movement, but Tane Burks does it the old-fashioned way. Busts out the howitzer, and we've got a one-goal game. The kids don't care. They're having fun. Not for long. Tech with a late line rush. Jake Johnson floats one on. Alex Smith pounds home the rebound for the 3-3 tie. But it's Trey DeGraff notching the OT winner to again give UAA the extra point. Just up the road in Fairbanks, a mere six-hour drive. That's a big state. Northern Michigan in town, and wasting no time. Face-off win for Joseph Nardi. Robbie Payne smacks it home, one nothing Wildcats. They'd pour it on, up 4-2 midway through the second. Northern Michigan power play. More Payne train. Phil Ballou puts it on, Payne puts it in. That's the hat trick. His second of the year, putting him second in scoring in the country with 12 goals. Wildcats win game one, five to three. On Saturday, the Nanooks have had enough. Nico Della Maggiore makes his first career start, and it was a good night for first, except scoring in the first. There wasn't any. Up one, late second, and it's Max Newton in the blue paint. He scores his first career goal, and it's two nothing Alaska. Late third in a one goal game, Wildcats pouring it on, but the puck leaks out. Kyler Hope wins the race and puts it in the empty net. Justin Young would add another for his first goal of the year. Della Maggiore with 20 saves in his first collegiate win. Four to one the final and a weekend split. To Huntsville, UAH hosting Lake Superior State. Oh, little shavers at the intermission. Look at the parents on the bench. It's an Instagram session. Game one, period one. Lakers on the power play. Nice long passing to Diego Cuglietta. He just waits out the goalie. Blows it by him for a 1-0 lead. Late first, same score, four on four. Aiden Wright unleashes the fury from the point. Jake Hand pops in the rebound. Lake Superior State coasts three to one in game one. Saturday, the Chargers playing for the split. Let's look to the Rook. Christian Rogic down and dirty in front makes it two nothing UAH. Second period, more Rogic picking up the laundry. He'd add another to become the first freshman to register a Huntsville hat trick in 15 years. 5-3 the final. Back up to Minnesota we go, fifth ranked Mavericks hosting Bowling Green for first place in the conference. This one was all Minnesota State, up 3-1 in the second. Beautiful setup from CJ Cease, Zeb Knutson, and Ian Scheid wide open in front for his second straight power play goal. But it's Cease who keeps the puck with his 100th point, 4-1 Mavericks. Moments later, 5-on-5 five five this time, and it's Jake Jeremko from Elk River, Minnesota's Mr. Hockey in 2015. Seven points from freshmen on Friday for MSU. They roll in game one, six to one, the final. Different story Saturday. Jeremko started the scoring, but that was it for the hometown team. Alec Rawhauser and Bowling Green with the five on three, walks in untouched to make it 2-1 Falcons. He had a night. Same score, the ice hardly scratched in the third. Rawhauser, the shot from the point. Max Johnson, last week's Rookie of the Week, in the scrum, knocks it home, four to one the final, and the weekend ends with the standings unchanged. Minnesota State and Bowling Green still one and two in the WCHA. We wrap it up with our only non-conference game, a home and home on Friday night in East Lansing. Mitchell Lewandowski propels Michigan State with a goal and two assists in their three one win. Ferris State not happy about that Saturday in Big Rapids. Fans are thrilled though, a packed house. There's the dog pound. Lewandowski going for another one, but Justin Kapelmaster stones him. He was goalie of the week last week. Looking good again here as he robs Brennan Sanford. Lewandowski wouldn't be held off the score sheet all night though. 
Up one nothing. Sparty on the power play. First chance doesn't go, so they set him up again with the one-timer. He drives it home, and it's 2-0 Michigan State. Same score, early third. Dogs on the power play this time. Riker Killens the shot. Corey Mack in the putback, and run for your lives. They're throwing stuffed animals. It's teddy bear toss night. Fans finally on their feet. MSU would add another late to complete the in-state sweep with a 3-1 win. Time for the awards. Our Offensive Player of the Week is Northern Michigan senior Robbie Payne. He notched the hat trick Friday night, put 10 shots on goal, and finished the weekend in Fairbanks with a plus two rating. Defensive Player of the Week, Alec Rawhauser from Bowling Green. The sophomore tied his career high with three points in Saturday's win at Mankato. He had two goals, including the game winner, along with three block shots. Speaking of blocks, our goalie of the week, Olivier Mantha from Alaska Anchorage. He backstopped the Seawolves to a pair of ties and a four-point weekend against visiting Michigan Tech, leading the WCHA with 73 saves. That's third most in the nation. And he led all NCAA goalies with 130 minutes in net. That leaves our rookie of the week, Christian Rogic from Alabama Huntsville. He became the first Chargers freshman to register a hat trick since Jared Ross in 2002. He's one of only four D1 freshmen to score a hat trick this season. Coming up this week, just two conference games. Ferris State is down in Huntsville and Michigan Tech at Fairbanks. We've got a Wednesday-Friday series with Bemidji heading to Princeton. Also, Miami is at Bowling Green, Northern Michigan at Omaha, Minnesota State at Duluth, and Lake Superior State is hosting the under-18 team. Thanks for joining us for another installment of Inside the WCHA. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. The links are right here on the screen. Also check out WCHA.TV, where they come to play, we come to watch. You can find live streams of every single game. Eat, drink, be merry, and watch some hockey. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and I'm Ryan Phelps saying so long from St. Paul. And remember, there is no sincerer love than the love of food but hockey is a close second.